Hi everybody! A couple of weeks ago a free demo of Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator appeared in Steam. A very interesting and non-standard train simulator for those who have previously encountered this game, as well as for everyone else who has not played it all, such as me. The developer is Pentacle. This is kind of the first project, and the publisher is Playway SA, previously known for releasing Care Mechanic Simulator, Contraband Police, Cooking Simulator, and other similar games. The game has a rather extensive abundance on organizations. There are two modes Train Simulator and Survival. And both on the first case and the second one, the possibility of moving and interaction of the character himself in different parts of the location is immediately striking. The simulator mode gives a ride of the famous in Russia electric locomotive VL-10, known to be confused with the more popular VL-80, which was mass produced in the USSR, successfully operated after its collapse and even continues to perform its work now in some parts of the country. The control is realistic and possible. Practically everything is jerked and pressed. The drivers can bond brake handles, pentagon switches, the short eliminations, float lights, doors, winds, and brake hose sensors. Ahuyen. And you can easily run from one section on another on the locomotive and switch the control from different cabins. The electric locomotive requires the cry of the gentle Siberian working Soviet hands. All parts are broken, removed, and can be replaced with in the ones from the time of the time. The detailing and physics on the locomotive work is impressive. Something similar or more or less similar is present in the snow run again. But here it still plays with other colors, throw in the graphics and much worse. Naturally, this makes it clear that they were facing hardcore, which does not give the right to make a mistake. All the lights and paths must be monitored, everything must be switched in the time. The engine must be restarted after writing or lowering the pentographs. The speed must be lost and calculated in advance. The pace must be applied well in advance before the row of dangerous place, of which the view surely don't enough. If you don't make it even for a second, you will have to start from the checkpoint. And O is only in a simulation mode, and there is also a survival mode, in which we are no longer playing for a simple driver, but for a mercenary of the Mafia, performing illegal transportation orders. First of all, here the character himself gets in an active phase. He has an adventure, he wants to eat bread, drink vodka, but in addition to all this you can organize massacres with a knife, chains of Druzhba, as well as arrange shootouts with Stokarev or Kalashnikov. Secondly, there are semblances of communication with the characters, in which it immediately becomes clear the game was voiced by non-Russian speaking comrades. Screw donation was over to the dispatcher a separate kind of art. In general, personally in my opinion, it seems the developers are trying to make some kind of cranberries, maybe I'm wrong, one so far in places is very similar to this. Dear creators, if you are watching this, please don't bring to this level. High Russian speaking people for voice over, no even necessary voice actors. Let them just be Russian speaking and concert about the time you're trying to show the player. It was hard in 80s and 90s, of course, but not so hard that the simple machinist worker went to blow up bridges to eliminate competitors on the railroad. No, seriously, it certainly did not happen, but I am not against such a storyline, just play it better, more logical, ok? And as for the rest, yes, the graphics don't grab stars for the sky. Once the realization of the train control, the mechanics of carrying for the electric locomotive and the opportunity to run the driver himself and show everything around, it is no kidding, great. You can see for yourself by playing the free demo. In any case, the game has potential. If you bring it to the mind, after all, fans of various simulations is with no unacquired locally. 
And on that great note, it ends. Thank you for watching for the end. Shoes on quality products on the video game market. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's not hard for you, and it will help me in promoting the channel. Have a nice day, and bye.